So um, I promised to, to give you my hints and tips of, of um, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to share the very core of my business. Um, and that is uh, the power mantra. And we're going to try and video this on um, for our YouTube channel. So, the power mantra. So a uh, mantra is something you repeat every day or every hour or every minute, depending on um, what kind of mantra it is, and um, by the re repetition of it, you start to live. You start to live out what you say to yourself. So after the inspiration of those women from Kerala that I met, I thought I'm going to have a I'm going to have a mantra too. So the first line of our mantra is believe in yourself. So the reason why someone walks up to me on a dance floor and says, "Hey, I'll give you five thousand pounds investment," is because they believe in me. The reason they believe in me is because I believe in myself. And I also, because I spend a lot of time deciding what choices I'm going to make in life, we can do anything we want, particularly in the world that we live in now. And so you could spend your whole life going, oh, I might do this, I might do that. But actually, you could sit very quietly for a while and just really think, what is it that turns me on? And what is it that I want to do every day? And then you can make that decision and stick to that decision. And by doing that, you will, the, the belief in yourself will grow and grow and grow and grow and everyone around you will reaffirm that you are living your truth and that will help the belief in you. The next thing is support yourself and one another. It's so important in our business and it's so important in life. Take, this, take um, the, uh, a crowdfunding campaign. When I run a crowdfunding campaign, I e email all my best friends and I say to them, I say to them, I'm about to run a crowdfunding campaign. Who's going to take the dogs for a month? And I say, I'm going to stock up the fridge of food and the freezer full of food because I know that I'm not going to leave my desk and I'm going to have to sit there for a whole month driving this crowdfunding campaign. Who's going to come over at the dark times when I'm really low, when no one's bothering to go on social media because it's really sunny, and sit with me and continue to email and continue to post on Facebook? Who's going to help me. So I get support from my son. And also, I get so much energy by supporting other people. So if you go onto my Skype, which is called Believe You Can Make a Difference, it says, if you see the green light on, please call me. Ask me any question you like. I don't mind. I'll talk to you for 10 minutes, wherever I am, if I'm able to. And it gives me so much happiness and joy by supporting each other. And supporting one another is obviously everything. It's what the Secret Project is all about. So persist. Keep trying. Persistence is, the, is such an incredible tool. If you decide and commit to persistence, then you know you're going to get there in the end. It might not be the most efficient way, but if in the beginning of these kind of explorations in social entrepreneurship, you don't necessarily know that you're doing it right. You have to try it out and really try it out before you know whether it's right or wrong. And then you might remodel or pivot or whatever it is. Professor Eunice, who's the king of social business, he says that social businesses are remodeled maybe three or four times before they really get to the to the model which seven <laughs> which uh, actually is really going to make the, the difference in, in terms of the social impact that you want to have. So um, persist. You know, um, I was telling Charlie actually. Uh, there's um, a beautiful picture of one of our uh, secret pillar makers, and it's monsoon, and uh, the community centre is on the top of the hill, and it's. She's walking down this um, this hill, and it's a river. She's in flip-flops, because that's what they wear. She's in a beautiful sari. And she's leaned over, and she's got a massive bag of secret pillows, and the lorries at the bottom of the hill. And there's a photo of her, it's beautiful, and she's just smiling. And she is going to get those secret pillows in that lorry, and that lorry's going to go to the port, and they're going to go to America. And she just knew it, because she was completely convinced that she was going to persist and get it done. So the next one is think. Well, I put this in there because for me, thinking, um, I'm very creative and imaginative, but actually thinking in a, in a kind of, you know, one, two, three, four, five, sit, concentrate way is actually something that doesn't come naturally to me. And sometimes you just have to take the time to think, take the time to count, particularly in our business, take the, take the time to measure, get it right. And so thinking is really important and often, 
when you're so excited or passionate about doing something, you uh, don't have the, your energy is not right for sitting and thinking and just being with what it is that you need to do. So really, really important one. And then this one is all about trusting your instinct. I know that you have mentors, I have mentors, and people want to give me business advice so much. And actually, sometimes I just say, thank you very much for that piece of advice. I will trust my instinct on my business. I will take that piece of advice and I will use it if I believe it's the right one. And if someone says I should do something and my heart is saying no, then I don't do it. And that's exactly what I say to all the secret pillow producers as well. I say trust your instinct because actually you're brilliant and you know exactly what you need to know and you're going to make the right decisions. And then this one is to take pride in everything we do. We are a rising quality business. We know we're not perfect. But when we do anything, we really do it with everything that we've got. And um, it just makes things nice to know that you're putting everything into the thing that you're doing. And this is um, from Professor Eunice, this one. Um, if you've read his book, um, How to Change the World Through Social Business, and there's another one, um, Back into the Core, you should definitely read them. Um, he says that people who run social businesses always work with joy. It's true. Wow, we're so happy. Look what we're doing. We're empowering women to look after their children. What don't, what's, not, what's not for life? And then this final one is from Richard Branson. And when I tell the women about this one, I always say, do you know who Richard Branson is? And of course, no. And I say, okay, so there's this guy, and he's from the UK, and uh, he like, was a record, he made music, and then one day he bought an aeroplane, and he, put, he bought, sold loads of tickets for it, and he flew it into the sky. And they say, wow, amazing. And I say, yeah, because he says, pretend until you know how. So it doesn't matter if you don't have to be a social entrepreneur. I didn't know how to be a social entrepreneur. And to be honest, you think I am one, but actually, sometimes I don't think I am one. So I'm on the journey to pretending. So when you pretend and you pretend and you pretend, then one day you see yourself standing up in front of 120 UCL students who are all looking at you thinking, hey, I've heard from this amazing social entrepreneur. And then you realize that actually, you're no longer pretending anymore, that you really are one. <coughs>